welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison. I am so, so excited for today's video because I am going to show you guys all of the fall decor that I have purchased this year. Um, it was super fun for me to shop for fall decor this year. I have never purchased any fall decor before. I have no idea why, but I have bags and bags of fall decor to show you guys. I have stuff from Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, Marshalls, um, one thing from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, so I have stuff from a variety of stores. So if you guys want to see all the fall decor that I have got this year, then just keep watching. And also make sure to subscribe. I will be filming a video of me cleaning and decorating for fall. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys don't miss out on that video. But without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Okay guys, the first thing I got from Marshalls was this cute little pumpkin um, decor piece. I am pretty sure that there is like a little glass on the inside where you could put a tea light. Um, I thought this was super cute for like the kitchen or um, maybe a little shelf or something. Um, but this was only $5.99. So you can't really beat that. And it's just kind of this, it's not black, but it's not brown. It's kind of like, what is that color? Like a bronze color? I don't know but I think this is super super cute and anything that has to do with candles um, I'm obsessed with so I feel like this is a really cute little decor piece for fall time okay the next thing they have in my bag um, is this set of three LED lit pumpkins they had these in orange or white and if you guys just looked at my apartment tour I'm trying to add more color into my apartment but I'm a very gray and white person. Um, but a lot of my other fall decor, I did end up doing color this year. So I'm really excited to incorporate some color into my apartment this year. Um, but I did end up picking the white ones of these pumpkins. Um, these are super cute and I feel like they're gonna be so pretty on a shelf. I just got some new shelving in my kitchen. So I was trying to find small things um, to go on the shelves, but I think these were really, really cute. And Marshalls have such good prices, I feel like compared to Home Goods, I feel like Home Goods is a little bit more expensive. Um, but these were only $7.99 for these three little white pumpkins. But I'm really excited to decorate with these and I'm so excited to see what they look like when they are all lit up. Um, so really excited for these. Okay guys, the next thing I picked up from Marshalls was just this little candle. Um, this scent is Falling Leaves. It is honestly the perfect smelling fall candle. I love the smell of this candle. Um, this was only $3.99 from Marshalls. And again, I was trying to find small kind of decor pieces that I could put on um, shelves. So I feel like this small little candle will be perfect, um, especially in the kitchen. I think it's gonna be super cute. It smells really good. And I'm really excited to burn this candle and yeah. Okay, so following with the last thing I picked up from Marshalls, I did pick up another candle. Um, this one is in pumpkin spice. And thank you so much, Marshalls, for putting the sticker right on the front part of it. Now I have to figure out how to tear it off. Who else loves the stickers from Marshalls? They literally never come off. They're so annoying. I wish that they would come up with another way to put their stickers, either on the bottom or something, because I literally hate the stickers from Marshalls. But anyway, this candle smells decent. Um, I got it. I got it more for looks, honestly. Um, it does smell just like pumpkin, um, pumpkin spice. It smells like pumpkin spice. Actually, you know what? It actually smells good. Um, this candle smells actually pretty good. Normally, I just get big candles, um, but I do have some smaller spaces I want to decorate. Um, so I feel like these small candles are going to be perfect for my shelves. Okay, guys, and then the last small candle that I picked up was an apple pumpkin. Um, I really love the color of this, and on camera, it's showing more like red, um, but it is more of like a dark burgundy color. Um, and for some reason, there's like scratches on the front. Um, of this so hopefully I can get those off again love the Marshall sticker super cute super easy to get off love those um, this one smells good but yeah they all smell good I don't know why I when I first smelled these I wasn't really like a fan of them I kind of just got them more for looks um, but it smells like apple pumpkin it smells good nothing like crazy but I have three of these so whenever one burns out I can replace it um, so and again this was only $3.99 so super cheap from Marshalls. Okay, so the next thing I picked up from Marshalls were these really cute kitchen towels. It's a set of three. Um, it's just kind of this burnt orange and brown and beige like little checkered pattern. Um, and then it does come with just a plain orange. And I think that one's just the same, yeah. So two of the same, which I really love these. I think they're super cute. Um, I've been having a hard time. Why I have such a difficult time picking out kitchen towels, I have no idea why. 
Um, I think I'm just not really into like the um, the like character ones that have like witches on them or pumpkins. I don't know. I just like more simple and cute, um, but still kind of fall. Um, so I saw these at Marshalls and these were the first kitchen towels um, for fall that I saw that I liked. So I decided to pick these up and these were only $5.99. Um, again, super cheap, super inexpensive, and perfect for fall time. Okay, we're going to take a little intermission. I just wanted to tell you guys that I got these slippers from Amazon, and I'm literally obsessed with them. I've been wearing them all over. I've not been wearing them all over. I've been wearing them in my apartment, so... But I've been wearing them all the time. That's what I'm trying to say. I've been wearing them constantly. My feet are always cold. And my husband is always mad at me when I put my cold feet on him. So I decided to get myself a pair of slippers. I have seen the Ugg slippers and I really wanted a pair of those. But those are literally $100. And that's just a little ridiculous for slippers. So I came across these on Amazon. They're super fluffy, super warm. I literally wear these all the time. They were $19.99, so $20. So if you guys need slippers... I would really recommend these and I think they have a whole bunch of different colors I think they have pink I don't think they have black I'm not sure what colors um but yeah just wanted to inform you guys just in case you guys need some slippers these are awesome great really been loving them okay guys that was it for the Marshalls fall decor um the next thing that was actually in the Marshalls bag was just this little pumpkin um I actually got this from Hobby Lobby um, and this was $3.99 but I think it was like 40% off so it was not really $3.99 um, but it just says give thanks and when I bought this um, I kind of planned on not showing that side I think I'm just gonna put it on a shelf like this um, honestly I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this okay there we go so um, it literally looks like they engraved it and then someone took a sharpie and wrote in it i didn't realize that when i purchased this um but yeah so i don't know if the person that made this just messed up or something um but again i'm just gonna use this side i feel like it's really cute and i feel like this is a really another good small little decor piece that i can decorate my shelves with um so i'm excited for this pumpkin okay guys the next thing that i have is from home goods this is another item that took me forever to pick out and i have no idea why um, comment down below if it just takes you forever to pick out like a simple item like I couldn't decide which one I wanted I went to different stores um, but I finally just decided to pick this one up um, this is just a really soft 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 throw blanket um, I'm not really into like patterns and stuff but I really did like this one this is $14.99 and I have a pineapple blanket that I literally sleep with every night um, it's a blanket that I use when I'm just laying on the couch or at nighttime so I wanted it to be able to leave a blanket out in our living room um, so that we didn't have to keep switching blankets back and forth but this is so soft but I really like this blanket I think the leaves are so cute and again this was $14.99 from home goods I really don't know what else to say about this it's a blanket it's soft it's cute and I like it. Okay guys, so the next little random thing that I have, um, I actually went to Bed Bath & Beyond because I was trying to find a table centerpiece. I cannot find a table centerpiece anywhere. Anyway, I went to like literally seven different stores yesterday trying to find a centerpiece for my table that I liked. I couldn't find one. Still in the search for one. Anyway, my point of my story is that what is the point of the story? Okay, the point of the story is that I went to Bed Bath & Beyond because I figured that they would have fall decor out. Um, they only had like a really small section in the front of the store, um, but I found this really cute little sign. So I was trying to find really small decor. Um, so I haven't really found a lot of things, but I did see this at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, it's just this really cute sign. It just says pumpkin patch. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna like hang it. I think I'm just gonna like set it on a shelf. Um, this was only $2.99, so super cheap. Um, just a really cute little decor piece for any small spaces that you want to decorate. Anyways, this is super cute and I'm excited to decorate with it. Okay guys, this next bag of goodies is from Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm kind of just jumping around with different bags because they're kind of like all over the place. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I picked up from Hobby Lobby was this little fall scatters and fillers bag. Um, it has little pumpkins and pine cones in there. 
Um, honestly, not sure if I'm going to even use these. I did buy these to go in some little vases that I'm going to put flowers in. Um, so I figured if I put them in the bottom of the vases, it might be cute. Um, this is something that honestly you could use for so many different things. So I decided to go ahead and pick this up. Oh, you guys, the next thing I picked up was just this little box of pine cones and acorns. I feel like this is going to be a really good um, filler piece just for decor. Um, again, for shelves or whatever I want to use these for. Um, but I just thought these were cute and a good thing that I can literally use forever. Um, so I picked up these as well. Okay, guys, the next really exciting thing that I picked up were these floral cutters. Um, actually really not that exciting. Um, it's not really fall related either, but I did pick up some fall floral, um, that I'm going to be decorating and I'm making a little, um, floral arrangements with. So I did need to pick up a pair of these, um, just so I could cut them down if I need to. Um, but yeah, these were just $5.99 from Hobby Lobby. Okay guys, the next thing that I picked up are not really fall related, um, but they're these really cute little glass vases. Um, I picked these up so I could put little flowers in them. Um, I used to have this little decor piece from Joann's and it was kind of a wooden box and it had different little um, vases in it and I put flowers in it. Um, so I'm really excited for these because I feel like I can use these year round and just put different florals in them for the different holidays. Um, so I decided to pick up four of these and these were also from Hobby Lobby and also really make sure to stay tuned um, for my next video because I will be decorating um, so you guys can see how I use all of these things and I'm really excited for that video so make sure to subscribe so you guys can see that um, but again just got these little vases super cute and excited to use these okay guys the next bag that i have is from hobby lobby the first thing that i picked up from hobby lobby was this giant white pumpkin um this was originally 29.99 it's plastic or i don't know what this material is i'm pretty sure it's plastic but who would spend $30 on this pumpkin? Anyway, this was originally $29.99, um, but my excuse was that it was 40% off. Um, probably still way too much to spend on a plastic pumpkin, um, but I really like this pumpkin. I feel like this pumpkin is gonna be really cute above my cabinets in my kitchen, so I'm really excited for this as well. Okay guys, the next thing I picked up from Hobby Lobby was this really cute fall sign. Um, this does light up. Um, this was $34.99, but again, 40% off. That's literally my excuse at Hobby Lobby when purchasing things. Um, it's really bad because I'm pretty sure this was so kind of expensive. I feel like it's gonna be super cute in my kitchen with the little lights on. So I'm very excited for this little sign. Okay guys, the next thing that I purchased from Hobby Lobby was just this plain little pumpkin. Um, again, I was trying to find a lot of small decor pieces. Um, this was literally $2.99. Um, and I'm pretty sure it was like 30 or 40% off on top of that. Just this plain little orange pumpkin. I feel like it's going to be really cute on my shelves that I have. Um, so I decided to pick this up as well. Okay, guys, the next bag of stuff is from Hobby Lobby as well. The first thing that I have in this bag is just this little green garland. Um, I feel like this is going to be really cute to decorate with. I've been watching a lot of fall cleaning and decorating with me videos. And I've seen a lot of girls um, use this on like their mantles or shelves and they kind of like cut it up and put it with the pumpkins or something on their shelves. I feel like this is gonna be really cute and I can use this for so many different things. Um, so I'm excited to see how I end up using this. Um, but again, I think this was, this was $14.99, but I think this was the one thing that wasn't on sale. So I did use their 40% off coupon. Um, so I'm pretty sure I got 40% off of this as well, but I decided to pick this up and I'm excited to use it Okay guys, the next thing I have in this bag is just all florals. I have a ton of florals I picked up from Hobby Lobby Um, so I'm gonna show you guys just a couple of them Um, a lot of them are duplicates anyways, so they're literally the same as these So the first thing I decided to pick up was just this really cute little orange floral arrangement Um, I feel like again, this is gonna be really cute in those like little vases that I picked up I plan on using these in my dining room. I have some decor up on my wall right now now, and there's some greenery in there that I'm not a big fan of so I'm thinking about taking all that out um, totally redoing it and doing it for fall time um, so I felt like these were gonna be super super cute and then I also did pick up the same ones but in burgundy um, these were $3.99 each but then 40% off of that but I did pick up multiples of both of these okay guys the next thing that I picked up from Hobby Lobby were just these cute little pumpkins um, and all this stuff like the florals um, these little pumpkins were in like their wreath section um, I know that a lot of people make their own wreaths and decorate their own wreaths, which I think is super fun. 
Um, but these were $1.49 and they were also 40% off. Um, but they're just these really cute little pumpkins. I do have wreaths in my living room. So I purchased these because I thought I could stick them in there and kind of dress up my wreaths for fall time. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to use these yet. Um, but I feel like these are really versatile and I can kind of use them for anything. So I decided to pick these up as well. Okay guys, the next bag I have is also from Hobby Lobby. I went a little bit crazy there, especially on the florals. I really don't know what I'm going to do with all these. Um, but in my mind, I'm thinking I can use them for years and years. And once we move into a bigger space, I will already have all these. I also decided to pick up a whole bunch because I didn't really know which ones were going to work in my space, which ones were going to work for what I wanted to do with them. So I did pick up a ton of them. I'm just going to show you guys again, just a couple of them out of this bag. Okay guys, the first little thing I have in the bag is just this really cute leafy um, little decor piece. I don't know what these are called. I think they're just called florals, um, but I think that people usually put these in wreaths, um, but it has this really cute sparkly little pumpkin on there, um, sparkly little, little acorns and the little leaves. It's a little bent right now, but they are wires so I can kind of fix them. Um, but I think I picked up two of these. I think these are really cute. And I figured even if I don't want to use them as a whole, I can kind of cut it up and take off the pieces that I want or kind of lay it down on a shelf or something. Um, so this is the first little piece that I decided to pick up, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up using these or not. Um, I think they're super cute. So I'm gonna try to figure out a way to use them. So I do have ones that are kind of similar to that last one. Um, this one is just a sparkly little pumpkin again and then it just has these little like berry kind of things leaves on it again I feel like this would be really cute in like a little vase or something um you can do so many things with these um so I decided to pick this one up as well okay the next little floral pieces I decided to pick up were just little fillers um I wanted to be able to use flowers and then also have some kind of like other colors so I did get some greenery um, this is just green and it has little pine cones on it. I figured this would be a good thing to use to mix in with all of the fall colored flowers. Um, this was $3.99 again. I think they were all about $3.99 um, and they were 40% off. So I picked this one up and I think I picked up a couple of these, I think two or three. Then I also picked up this little filler piece. This was $2.99 and 40% off. I feel like this would be a really good filler for all of my other flowers as well. Um, so I decided to pick up this as well. The next thing that I picked up was this little cute white pumpkin. This was again from Hobby Lobby. Um, this was $19.99, super expensive for a plastic pumpkin, but it was 40% off again. And I figured it'd be really cute with like the tall pumpkin and the short pumpkin um, above my kitchen cabinets. Um, so I decided to pick up the little small one as well. Okay guys, and I just wanted to mention that I bought this stuff over a period of time. I didn't buy all this stuff in one day. Um, I'm very particular on stuff that I like. Um, so I will tend to just go to a whole bunch of different stores and get one or two things here and there. Um, but this stuff is from Home Goods, and this was the first purchase that I made for my fall decor. Um, I love this sign. This really stood out to me. I thought this was so cute, and it kind of goes with my rustic um, theme in my living room. But it says pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes, and I think this is just really cute. I think that I'm gonna put this under my TV stand. So this sign was $12.99. Um, from home goods. I really love the saying on this. I thought it was so cute um, So I'm really excited to decorate with this. Okay guys the next thing that I have is also from home goods This was one of the first things that I bought for fall as well I honestly have no idea where I'm gonna put this in my apartment, but I'm going to try to find a place for it um, But this was $24.99 and it's just this really cute kind of like farmhouse looking um, sign But it says autumn leaves s'mores and snuggles caramel apples hay rides baking pies and treats, cozy sweaters, and pumpkin patch. So it just kind of has a whole bunch of fall sayings on it. But again, I am super excited for the sign. I think it is so cute. And make sure to stay tuned for my next video so you guys can see where I end up putting the sign. Um, but I'm excited to put this up. Okay guys, the next thing that I have is just this really cute little floral box. It does say thankful on the front. Um, and this was $19.99 from Home Goods. And then I think I'm actually just going to put it on my shelf like this. I do have a similar size um, floral thing that's actually exactly the same size. So I'm just going to replace um, this one. I did end up buying a lot of um, burgundy and orange, which I normally don't do color at all. Normally I stick with whites and grays. Um, so this is the only thing that I really bought that is um kind of more on like the white side but again i really like this and i have a specific spot that i'm going to put this 
Um, and if I want to add some color in there, I do have all of those other florals. Um, so I can kind of mess with it as well. Um, but that was the last thing in this bag. Um, and I do have one other thing from HomeGoods and one other thing from Hobby Lobby that I'm going to show you guys as well. Okay, guys, the last thing they have from Hobby Lobby is going to be kind of hard to show you guys. Um, but it is just this really pretty garland. Um, I think this is six feet long, but I plan to put this um, on top of my kitchen cabinets and put the little pumpkins that I got on each side of this. Um, maybe with the fall light up sign that I got as well. Um, I just think it's so pretty and again I'm really excited to add some color into my apartment just because I have a lot of like gray and white um, So I'm really excited to decorate with this. This was definitely by far the most expensive thing that I purchased for my fall decor this year This was $79.99, which is so expensive um, but it was 40% off um, again, my excuse when buying things at Hobby Lobby, um, but I think this is a piece that I'm going to be able to use for so long and I would love to have a house with a mantle and I think this would be so pretty. Again, um, I feel like this isn't going to really go out of style. Um, I think it's so pretty and I'm so excited to decorate with this. Um, so that is the last thing that I got from Hobby Lobby. Okay guys, I have two other things from Home Goods, and the first thing I have is just a really cute little floral arrangement. Um, this was $12.99, and it has these really cute sunflowers, um, pine cones, um, but I'm really excited to put this out on my coffee table, or it might go on a side table, I'm not sure yet. But I'm really excited to put this out, and I just cannot wait to decorate, so super excited for this as well. Okay guys, the last thing that I actually have is from Home Goods, and this is another thing that I purchased a while ago as well, um, and it's just a set of two LED um candles um these are pumpkin spice and vanilla so they do smell good um they obviously don't really put off like much scent um but i'm really excited for these i actually did purchase these in white as well and i already have them out in my apartment i thought that the little flames were supposed to move um while they were turned on but just light comes out of them and unless you touch them that's the only time they kind of like flicker back and forth um, comment down below if you guys have gotten these. I know that they have a certain brand of candle that the um, flame actually does move back and forth when they're on, um, but these ones only move like when you like bump into them or something. I figured these would be really cute on my dining room table and my little candlesticks that I have. Um, so I picked up these as well. Okay guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a longer one, so thank you so, so much if you guys stuck through the whole entire video. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe if you guys are not subscribed already so you don't miss out on my future videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.